Hello and welcome back to the 7 day yoga challenge. We are in the third day and today we have yoga for core strength. So if you are ready to build some heat into your body and to burn some calories as well, hop on your mat. Today we start into table pose. So come on your palms and on your knees. Okay. Untuck your toes and from here let's start by warming up the wrists. So first of all, you're going to lean forward, good, and then you're going to come back towards the center, creating a flat back. So send your belly button towards the spine and now move forward and then come back towards the center. And once again, send the weight of your body forward, good, come back towards the center. Now turn your fingers towards the legs. And now you're gonna send your hips backwards, hold for a second, good, and then move towards the center. Two more times. Send the hips backwards, hold, good, feel the stretching into your wrists, come back towards the center, and then the last time, good, hold it. And now come towards the center. Good. Turn your fingers facing the front of your mat. And now send the right leg. Extend your right leg and then send it up. Good. Belly button towards the spine and really press away from the mat in here. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale. You bring your knee to your nose and you round your back. Pull abdominals in. Good. Extend your leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Good. Okay, we have three more. Extend the leg and breathe in. Exhale, round the back. Create some space so you can pull your knee towards the nose. Extend the leg, breathe in. Exhale. One more. You got this. Exhale. Good. Okay, come back towards the center. And we go for the other side. Extend the left leg. Send it up. Okay, create a physical foundation in here. Press into your palms, into your right leg. And then pull abdominals in. Breathe in. Knee to nose. Pull with your abdominals. Extend the leg and breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose. Good, three more. Exhale, stay with the breath. And feel the sensations within your abdominals. Good, one more. Okay. This is good. Okay, bring your knees together, send your hips towards the heels, extend your arms above your head, take a child's pose. You have two breaths in here. Good. We are going for more and I know you are ready. You showed up today. <sighs> this practice is not going to be long, but it's going to be intense. And you'll have so much energy for the rest of the day. Okay. Come back on your fours and let's meet into downward facing dog from here. Send your hips towards the ceiling. Maybe walk your dog a little bit. And let's go deeper into this practice. If you're ready, press your heels down, press into your palms and now draw your shoulder blades towards the spine. Good. We stay for one more breath. Exhale. Good. Send the right leg up and breathe in. And now from here, you're going to bring your knee to your nose. So you're going to come into a high plank, rounding your back, and then pull your knee towards the nose, engaging your abdominals. Three, two, and one. Send the leg up. And now knee to the right elbow. Pull abdominals in. You got this. And really press away from the mat. Three two, one, good, send the leg up, 
Now knee to the opposite elbow. Yes, you got this. Three, two, one. Send the leg up. And now step in between your palms. We go for crescent lunge. So press into your feet. Pull abdominals in. You send your arms up. And from here, you're going to exhale. You're going to lean forward. And you'll create these airplane arms. So pull abdominals in. Good. And get long through the crown of your head. And we stay for three, two, and one. Good. Palms down on the mat. Come into a high plank. And you're going to hold the plank. Okay, legs are engaged. And now send your abdominals towards the spine and really press away from the mat. Good, five, four, three, two, one. And then we go for downward facing dog. Whew. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Ah, good job. Okay, you are ready. So send the left leg up, breathe in. Knee to nose. Round the back. Push away from the mat. Three, two, one. Good. Send the leg up. Knee to the left elbow. Yes, yeah, smile for three, two, one. Send your leg up. And now, Knee to the opposite elbow for three, two, one. Good. Your obliques are happy. Leg is going up. Exhale. Step in between your palms. Crescent lunge. Okay. First of all, feel the ground beneath your body. Pull abdominals in. And now send your arms up. Strong back leg. And press the center of your front heel. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lean forward, airplane arms. Good, belly button is going towards the spine. And stay in the hit for three, two, and one. Good, palms down on the mat, step back with the left leg. Hold into high plank. Tap into the breath, you need your breath to relax your muscles. Hold it, five. Four, relax the face. Two, one. Downward facing dog. Whew, you got this. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Good. Okay. Let it go through the mouth. And now come back into high plank. And from high plank, you're going to bend your knees. And you're going to come into a downward facing dog with your knees towards the chest. And then you press your heels down. Okay, let's go for it. One more time. High plank. Bend your knees. And then press your heels down. One more time. High plank. Bend your knees. And then press the heels down. Okay. And now from here... Let's spice things up. So, let's go for three, first of all. So, first of all, breathe in, come into a high plank, and then you exhale, low plank, high plank, bend your knees, and then press your heels down. Oh, I know this is intense, but you got this. It's all about breath. So, high plank, breathe in, low plank, exhale, high plank, breathe in, Exhale, knee to your chest, press your heels down. Let's do one more. High plank. Exhale, low plank. High plank, knees to your chest, press your heels down. Good, let's take a child's pose in here. So bring your knees as wide as your mat, forehead down, because we go for three more. So I want you to really relax in here. Exhale. Let your body melt. Relax the face and your chin. One more breath. Exhale. 
Good job. Okay, let's do this. Let's stay in the action. So press down, send your hips up, downward facing dog. And let's go for it. High plank. Low, high, knees into your chest, press your heels down. Okay, two more. High plank. Low plank, high plank, knees into the chest, then send your heels down, straightening your legs, and we go for one more. High, low, high, chin into your, uh, knees into your chest. Good, knees down, child's pose, three breaths. Hmm. This is good, right? When you can feel your body, when is it in the head, you know you are really taking action. <sighs> okay, let's go for it. Come back into high plank. I promise you this is going to be the last exercise into a high plank. And from here, you're going to bring the right knee into the chest. You're going to put it back, left knee into the chest. Okay, so these are climbers. Maybe you are familiar with it. Oh, let's do 10 each side. So one, two, pull abdominals in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we have ten more. One, two, three, four, breathe, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Downward facing dog. Child's pose. Yes, you deserve this child's pose. You have three breaths. And you can even acknowledge yourself here. We are halfway there. Hmm. Relax the face. Okay. And now come up. Bring your knees facing the front of your mat. And then sit on your mat. Good, and you lay down. I told you this is gonna be with a lot of heat, right? Oh. Good, send the legs up. And from here, you're gonna interlace the fingers behind your neck and lift your head, pull abdominals in and keep your elbows away from your ears. Send the right leg down two inches off the mat and we will gonna pause one two pull with the abdominals three four five six seven eight nine ten switch legs you got this one two stay with me three four Five, breathe, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we were gonna switch legs. One, keep your head up, pull abdominals in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yes, I know. Knees into your chest. Whew. Breathe into the nose and let it go through the mouth. Oh, yes, I know. Something has to go away. You need that space for something new. And you already know that, okay? When you want to add something new into your life, you need to get rid of something, right? Same here. And now we go for abdominal twist. So we are going for 30. Let's see, interlace the fingers behind the neck, head is up, pull abdominals in, and your elbows are gonna stay away from the ears. And when you twist to touch the opposite knee, 
you're gonna do it by sending the elbow towards the knee and not the leg towards the knee. Okay, let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. One, two, three. Slow it down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Knees into your chest. I know it's burning, but this is good. <sighs> okay. And now send your feet on the ground. <sighs> and let's go for a bridge. Press down, send your hips up, pull abdominals in, engage your glutes, maybe interlace the fingers behind your back, and send the lower ribs towards the spine. Let's stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Now release, swing your legs. Good job. And let's take a happy baby in here. So catch the outside edges of your feet. <sighs> Press your feet down. Hmm. Relax the shoulders towards the ground. <sighs> and now go for a Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet together. And now rest your palms. One on top of your chest, one on top of your abdominals. And we are almost done for today. So take a moment, relax. Oh, that was fast, but really effective. Oh, I know. Now extend your legs as wide as your mat. Palms are facing up. It's time for Shavasana. Just let everything go. You did your part of the work. Everything started with you showing up today. So why not give yourself that pat on the back? Relax the face. And as always, you know you can stay here up to 10 minutes. And I really encourage you to stay more in Shavasana. And I'm going to say Namaste. And see you tomorrow for the day four of the challenge. Just show up. See what's going to happen.